My grandfather. You wish to know all about my grandfather? Well, he is nearly 93 years old, yet he still thinks as swiftly as ever. My grandfather. You wish to know all about my grandfather? Well, he is nearly 93 years old, yet he still thinks as swiftly as ever. He dresses himself in an ancient black frock coat, usually minus several buttons. A long flowing beard clings to his chin, giving those who observe him a pronounced feeling of the utmost respect. When he speaks, his voice is just a bit cracked and quivers a, trif a trifle. Twice each day he plays skillfully and with zest upon a small organ. Except in the winter, when the snow or ice prevents, he slowly takes a short walk in the open air each day. We have often urged him to walk more and smoke less, but he always answers, banana oil. Where did you grow up and how long have you lived here? I grew up in a town uh, 20 miles south of Boston called Brockton. Um, and I moved here when I was a senior in high school. I attended Rutgers University in New Brunswick. And um, then I moved back to Massachusetts for about four years and then permanently relocated to New Jersey. How important is language and communication in your attempt to fit in, and do you think it prevents you from fitting in at all? Uh, obviously, language is a very important part of my job as a teacher and a director of the school. I'm constantly communicating with students and parents, and um, quite honestly, I forget that I have an accent until somebody uh, asks me where I'm from and reminds me that I do say words differently than others. So on a scale from 1 to 10, how well do you think you fit into your social and professional worlds? Um, I believe it's a 10. I don't feel that I have any difficulty uh, fitting in socially or professionally. When you first moved to New Jersey, did you try to change your speech or language in any way to fit in? Initially, no, because moving here my senior year from high school, I was known as the girl from Boston, and a lot of people asked me to say different words, um, like park the car in Harvard Yard, because they really liked the accent. So I found that, you know, people liked the way that I spoke, so I, I didn't initially try to change the way that I pronounce certain words. However, when I began to teach high school in New Jersey, I intentionally tried to um, talk more with the New Jersey accent just because I found that my Boston accent um, gave the, my students an opportunity to um, poke fun at the way that I spoke or pretend that they didn't understand what I was saying. And uh, it really set me apart on a professional level. So I did the best that I could do to pick up the New Jersey accent. Having been in New Jersey for over 20 years now, do you think you still have an accent? And how would you describe it? I do believe that I still have an accent. Um, when I'm together with um, my friends who are native to this area, I, I definitely do still have uh, words that I say that are, that are different and I pronounce words differently um, than they do. But uh, I definitely have lost a lot of my uh, Boston accent and I don't realize that I've lost it until I go back to uh, Boston and visit my relatives and realize how thick their accents are.